paper mouth plate? Yes, you heard it right. Paper mouth plate. And to make it, we just need the humble newspaper. Let's see the materials that go into it. A newspaper, a toilet roll, a paintbrush, fevicol, paper tape, white acrylic paint, fevi bond or any rubber glue, a glass of water, an empty bowl, two thermocol balls or googly eyes or a table tennis ball. What you need to do first is take two sheets of newspaper, two sheets, first fold it into half, then into another half and then into another half, like this, open it and on this line fold the flap once here and from this side fold the flap in this way. Similarly do this side. Now once I'm done with this I'll realize that I see that these flaps are just coming out. So I got to tape them. Similarly for the other side. Now, when I turn it to the other side and I fold it this way, you will realize that I have got a perfect mouth. So I have a tissue roll here. So basically I'm going to tear them into small small strips like this. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an empty bowl and I'm going to pour a little bit of water in it. Next I'm going to add some fevicol. Equal parts of water and equal parts of fevicol is a good idea. It's ready for our paper mache. We're going to start by applying a single coat of fevicol. Take the tissue and just place your napkin over it. Wherever the edges are open, put glue over there and just see how comfortably it gets fixed on it. And keep doing this till the time you cover it at least with two to three layers. Once I'm done with this paper mache thing, I need to let it dry. It takes almost a day. Once it is nice and dry, then use acrylic colors of your choice to paint. Now I have already made one earlier, which got completely dry and then I applied one coat of white acrylic color which gave it a nice glossy and a smooth look. So I take my thermocol ball now and uh, I cut it into half.
this would take some time to dry keep the pressure for some time mark two points where the pupils would come now i have stickers here which i'm going to use once this gets dry what we are going to do is we are going to at least paint the mouth pink or red so that it you know gives a nice look when i am practicing the mouth we we'll give it an element of hair so instead of using the traditional wool that we always use i thought of having fun with some ribbons now these are the ribbons which are available in uh, flower bouquet shops 16 inches and just cut it out this ribbon tears up very easily i just uh, tear it into some strips i take them all together and they tie a knot in the center and once this is done i open up my scissor hold out a single piece of the ribbon and pull so it gives a nice twirl to it and i'm going to put a little bit of tape here so that it doesn't come out so i start painting the mouth don't put a thick coat otherwise it would take a lot of time to dry just putting a thin single coat here now as i finished painting my puppet's mouth i got a little overboard and painted it yellow on top I also have a small piece of felt out here which I cut it like a tongue and then you can just Try making your own puppets So what are you waiting for Start practicing with me your new paper puppet Come on, bye-bye.